What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. Guys, I'm out here. Oh, geez. I'm out here with my bro Ace. You might know him from Ace videos. I don't know. He's my lesser known brother. And we've got the old man with us today. Me ancient. Guys, we're out here today throwing down another catch and cook video on the beautiful Brownlee Reservoir. Reservoir. Reserve. We are going after some crappie today. I'm trying to make a crappie taco. Um, and that's what we're gonna be throwing down today. Hopefully, we are first have to find a nice nest of crappie and then uh, hopefully get in on that nest, pillage the nest, and uh, then we will have us uh, some crappie fillets for our taco. But you know how this thing goes. We first have to get fishing, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so check that out. That is the kind of color we're looking for right there. That is a big old crappie ball between about 15 to 20 feet deep. We're in about 23 feet of water. Let's get our jigs down, see if we can't start pulling them up. Got him. Little crappie. Oh, yeah, a little crappie. Oh, there's there we a go. Start. There's a start. There's a start right there, guys. Check that out. Nice, pretty one. Not a gigantic, but they're biting. They're, I, I've definitely gotten a few hits oh. already down there. Oh. Guys, we'll throw them in the cooler just in case we need some catfish bait. Hopefully, we get a little bit bigger than that. Nice black crappie, though. Got one. Yeah. That little crappie. I am the king of the weenie crappie. I don't know what this is, but oh well. At least I'm catching crappie, man. They're getting smaller and smaller. I won't keep this guy. That's a, that, that is an uber small crappie. Really pretty though. Look at that. It's almost like purple when the sun hits those ray, the side of the uh, the scales. That's cool. Got one. This is a crappie, it's a decent one, but it might be a bass, the way it's shaking its head. It's a nice bass. Fish of the day, though. Nice small Thanks, bruh. Red eyes, look at that. That's, oh yeah, that's crazy. Get him. Guys, I am on the prowl for these things. Look at that, uh, about what depth? Oh, got him. No, right there. Oh, Crappie. No, oh, bluegill, bluegill. Big old bluegill. Big Dude, bluegill. Look, guys, look at that, look at that. check that out. <laughs> guys, we just <laughs> saw, we just saw <laughs> stuff popping up again. on, <laughs> we just saw stuff popping up on the radar at about, he was about 10 feet. Just a big old massive bluegill. That's a, that is a fun find right there. You're Bonus fish. I'm going to get him in the live well. That's awesome. I thought my camera was oh. Oh, he, oh, what the? That is a fast little bit. It's a fatty. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's a bass. If that's a, if that's a, what you call it. It's a big one. Another nice bass, though. It's a bad I'm kind of tired of catching like pound and a half smallies. Like, hmm. It's nice. Another female. Got one all in the How does he compare with mine, Asa? Oh wow, yeah, they're close. They're close. Yeah, real close. Mm -hmm. Guys, Ace is in on another one here. Really giving you a run for your money there. Toot toot. Oh, it's a strong fish, bruh. Bruh. Oh, it's cooked on the side of the face, that helps. Another nice bass. Look at that. For me, for nice, sure. brah. Dude, nice. About happy. two pounder. Uh huh. Pretty happy in a turn. Heck yeah. Nice catch. Whoa. Oh, my word. Look at that. Pops has a big old crop. <laughs> Gee whiz. Nice. That's a nice, Keeper. that's a good eating crappie right yeah, there. Really, really On that jerk bait. It. I thought it was a bass. Bam. Nice. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I got a perch, a bonus fish. That's a fatty. He's probably about 10 inches would be my guess. I've got a little uh, jig down there trying to get the, uh, trying to get into some crappie, but I'll, I'm catching perch, I'm catching bluegill, but I just can't get a big crappie. That's a, that'll, that'll taste good though. We'll cook him up. 
All right, guys, so I have spent all day trying to catch a crappie of any kind of significant size. Uh, however, my dad and my brother Ace are the only ones that seem to be catching anything that is of eating size. So, I'm going to pilfer my dad's crappie. He has graciously given it up for this feast. And it's not just going to be a crappie taco. I'm going to throw in that perch and that bluegill I caught. So it's a whole pan fish uh, medley going on with these tacos. So we're going to get these guys cleaned up and we're going to get cooking. All right, so we're just going to be cooking our fish up right here on the boat. I've got my nice little setup here with my propane tank. Little grill action going on. So the first thing we're going to do is cook these fish up. I'm going to get this going. All right, we got that lit. Let our pan heat up. All right, next we're going to add some butter to start things off. All right, butter's melted. Let's throw our fillets in. So we've just got our bluegill. I actually didn't fillet him because uh, it's kind of a little bit small, a little bit more difficult to do. So we're just going to put him in whole like so. Next, we'll season him up with a little Cavenders. Now we did fillet that perch, however. Those are some nice little fillets going on there. We'll throw those in right alongside. Also get some Cavenders on those guys. And then here are those fillets from my dad's crappie, boneless. We're also gonna throw those in there as well. It smells really good, guys. Flip all those fillets. Put a little layer of cavenders on this side as well. To go in the tacos as well, we've got some shredded cabbage. I'm also going to slice up a tomato and a red onion. There we go. And those will be our ingredients that'll go with that fish in those tacos. All right, and just as kind of a finish, I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon pepper over the top. Just to add a little zest. All right, guys, I cleaned off that bluegill, all the meat off that bluegill and tossed all the bones out. Now I've just mixed all three of those pan fishes, meats together, just a little bit more cooking, and we are just about done. That is smelling and looking delicious. All right, check that out. We got the fish all finished up. We've got our buffet and some hard shells. I also actually have some flour, soft shell tortillas as well. But for me, I'm going to go a little hard shell action myself. All right, I'm going to load that hard shell up with some of that fish right there. Ooh, I see a little bone. Chew carefully. Next, take some of that cabbage. Lay it right in there like so. I like this onion. I like that red onion for crunch. Add a little pizzazz there too. And then I'll just grab some tomato and layer it right on. All right, look at that pan fish taco fresh right out of the river. Had to get a little plate. I don't want to lose any of this deliciousness. And I'm cooking these up right here on the river. I mean, my old man's still fishing. Ace is back there on the store, shore still fishing. We're catching fish right now. And I'm just cooking up some fresh, fresh pan fish tacos. Got the old man loading his taco up. Pop supplied the crappie. Oh my word, this is why we come out here. Mm. <laughs> nice. Oh, boom. Boom. Mm. All right, I've made up a second taco and I'm gonna throw a little Tabasco sauce on this bad boy. Add a little heat. Now some of you don't think this is hot, but I'm kind of a pansy when it comes to hot sauce. There we go. 
little Tabasco sauce on that second taco. That is definitely adding a kick to it. But it's delicious because it's still like that tomatoey red sauce. Goes really good with that fish. Mmm. Well, guys, pan fish tacos fresh right out of the reservoir. Big success. I highly recommend it. You got to give that recipe a try. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Much more to come. We will see you in the next one.